Hello guys, just Kimmy again, and welcome to another <laughs> another patch video. Yes, we have another patch in less than a month. In, I think the last patch was like a week ago or something like that. But you will understand why there are two patches in, in a very short time. Because this patch is basically the mid wars patch, right? It's only focused on mid wars. There are basically only changes to mid wars, except for very important changes to the end. And I know you guys are going to love it. I'm going to try to be a little bit quicker because I feel like people loved my my insights on the last patch video, but it, I feel like it was a little bit too long. So I will try to cut the video a little bit more so it gets shorter, okay? Outside of this introduction, everything is going to be as summarized as possible. So this is also my first impression. You might not know, but I'm actually a mid -wars player. <laughs> yeah, I actually also play mid -wars, and I play mid -wars very often. So let me to explain to you one thing first. Everybody should play Mid Wars. Mid Wars is a completely different game from the Forest of Calvador. If you only play Forest, you should play Mid Wars. And don't play Mid Wars like, oh, I'm just having fun, I'm trying new things, I just want to chill out. Try to play Mid Wars like actually try harding, actually trying to win, actually going for uh, gaining MMR, just like you try on, on Forest of Calvador, right? And you will see that once you get a little bit more MMR, you get to those games where everything is like min-maxed and I feel like those games are very cool, they are very interesting, very fun, of course there are going to be those games where the game is going to be over in like 3 minutes and a half but it's a lot quicker, you can consume in 5 minutes, so you get to the good games much more often okay, so let's begin with the changes uh, matchmaking game mode single draft has been replaced with random draft in the mid wars matchmaking options now that's interesting, so for you who don't know, uh, single draft is that mode where basically you get a list of three heroes and you choose of one of them. And why is it not good? Because it's very random and sometimes one team gets to pick the flint and the devo and in mid wars flint and devo are just very strong. Uh, another very strong hero is like prisoner but it's not as strong as devo. But there are th those really strong heroes like devo and flint are the best heroes in mid wars. They are banned on every game. In single draft you cannot ban those heroes so one of the teams very often get those and then they are basically have the, the free win card, right? But having random draft is a completely different mode where the hero pool is a lot smaller and you get some bans before we can pick. So it's going to bring diversity to the game because there's not, not only going to be the same heroes every game and you can also ban the very broken heroes like Flint and Devo. So I do love Random Draft a lot. I still want to see the changes that they made. I've heard that the changes that they made are only for mid wars though. So these changes are not for every game mode. It's only for mid wars. So some heroes are going to be different now depending on the map that you choose. So let's begin. Map. Okay, so changes to the map. Oh my god, oh, by the way guys, I'm going to try to put a link in the description if I remember But oh my god, it's a famous YouTuber, he's much more famous than I am And he's a very good editor, so he makes a lot of cool edits and a lot of cool videos as well uh, He has been a little bit less active lately Mainly because he's been working on this on these things, on the map designs and on the uh, I don't know if he's working on balance, but he's definitely wo working behind the scenes a lot. That's why he hasn't been putting a lot of videos up. But you should you should check him out. So, oh my god, is he has done the map design for this. So, it's probably looking very cool. That's good, probably going to be like a, a lizard going uh, in, into somewhere. I don't know. He, he loves putting those catches so, everywhere. Uh, the Merrick's rune. Gold rewards changed from 35 plus 2 per minute to 100 gold. Gold is now granted to every player. Oh wow! Gold is now granted to every player on the team. 500 solo gold. Okay, so basically that stops the thing of. Oh, this is my rune. <laughs> Does it actually still give the? Let me see. I, I think I have the. Yeah. So I want to see if this rune gives uh, mana as well. Or is, still, or is it only money? Does it still give mana? Okay, it's still a bottle charge, okay. So, whoever picks the rune gets the mana and the health, but everybody gets the gold. I, I like the change already. Rune spawns every 30 seconds instead of 15 seconds. It means that instead of spawning, okay, so it's 6.30, there should be a new rune here, right? Yep. 
and it's not moving anymore so it's static here it's not moving and it spawns every 30 not every 30 seconds it spawns at 6 30 7 30 8 30 like every minute but instead of the 15 second mark it's on the 30 second mark i do like the change as well because it means it's going to be more dynamic right it's going to it's not going to be like a burst of action for the 15 second mark and then we are going to stall until the next round, right it's going to be actually properly divided let's put it that way let's go to the next change boss location transmit the sign of moved closer to the lane to encourage contested battles okay i do love this change as well and i'm going to explain why every time that i went to do the transmit the sign of as a team we always lost lost a tower like i don't know if it was only with me but every time i went with my team i picked uh, the bosses and I, I said to my team like look guys let's kill the boss real quick and then we went there and then we lost a tower and I feel like it wasn't a good trade like trading the boss for a tower when you don't get any buffs for the for the boss only the power rune and the token of sight i don't think that was worth it and i don't know if, if this change is enough because i can see here that it's closer it used to be like over here but is this close enough i'm not sure i'm gonna have to see like in a real game to see terrain balance areas have been reshaped to provide both teams with similar access and escape routes this tower looks different by the way <laughs> i don't know if it's only me but this tower really looks different it's look, it looks more blue it looks cool i i, I do like it i i did i do see that there, there are some changes to the terrain to the colors i'm not seeing the gadgets that uh Hono my god likes a lot i do love this statue here in the pool a lot it's very cool it's one of those oh my god this tower is beautiful oh my god look at these towers they are they are so pretty they look different i didn't even know we had these gadgets but i do love them already let's see the halbon towers okay so the first one's the same second one's the same as well the inside towers are yeah they are basically the base towers yeah the way oh there we go <laughs> I was looking for this like oh my god loves putting this this kind of things in the map let's like I think I saw something else uh, there we go this this one <laughs> I do love this these are so cool like why don't we have more of this I do like them a lot let's go to the next change right areas should be more balanced now I don't know how much they change the areas okay this uh, looks a lot different yeah this is very different this is much more similar to the Hellborn side now. Is this is there a word spot? There is a word spot. Okay, I do like this change. So is this time similar as well? They made a, a little pathway here. There is another pathway here. So yeah, it's very similar as well. This this did not exist. This pathway here, this did not exist on the last map. So it's new. So I love this change a lot. I it basically makes it so both sides are, are equal. I do like this kind of mirror of the map. It's very easy to do as well. So, okay, so now we're going to the to the balance changes. Uh, this is basically saying it's only for midwars, so don't forget this is only for midwars. Kill from a cursed. Cooldown increased from six to nine. Okay, so basically more cooldown on the kill. Uh, Fire shield W does not remove stuns, but still removes debuffs in midwars. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to give you guys a hot take here. I don't know why this change is only on midwars. Because I really don't like the fact that the for example, if Valkyrie sends an arrow and stuns some, someone for five seconds, you can just pop a shield and then the guy is out of stun. I really don't like that. I don't feel like that's fair. But at least in midwars this is going to be changed. So the fire shield does not remove stuns anymore. It still removes the buffs. Not every debuff, there are some unremovable debuffs like the voodoo jester curse but it doesn't remove stuns anymore and i do love this change a lot a curse was really strong in mid wars so a curse is nerfed a little bit i don't know if it, this is enough the fire shield change might be enough but the counter -right change is like negligible right it's like One a little bit more cooldown on the healing the healing is not very used a lot anyways so yeah it's it's a good change it's on the right direction uh demented shaman storm cloud cooldown increased that's a very good change because this storm cloud is very is used very often is this it okay so okay okay i like it i like it 
you have to think about when you're gonna have to use the storm cloud because storm cloud is a very powerful spell on the bandit shaman because everybody's one shot together right so it's much easier to buff all islands and debuff all enemies in a team fight by increasing the cooldown it makes it so you have to think when to use it because you have to use it on an important team fight right so i do like this change a lot devour okay nurse to devour please strength for nearby hero death reduced from this to wait, is it half it is half okay so you get half the bonus okay i like this change a lot but this change is very good, don't get me wrong, this change is very good, but this is not what has to be changed in Devour. What has to be changed in Devour is the hook, because what's strong of Devour in the game is the hook, it's nothing else. The hook needs to be nerfed, either lower the range or increase the cooldown, increase the mana cost, do something to punish Devo for missing hooks. Because you can have the devour factor, you can have like, because the hook is always going to be powerful, right? People do not understand how powerful the hook is. It is very powerful because it dislocates the, the enemy from, from a place to another. It's like the toss from pebbles, right? But what's strong about this is that devour can just spam hooks. Because you get a mana battery, you guess basically get the refilling of the mana. You can just spam hooks and I do, do not like that. This change is very important, it is very good, but it shouldn't be the only one. Fleet Beastwood, also nerfed. So the range is decreased by about a third. Okay. Also a very good change. I feel like this change is the only one needed. Because Fleet Beastwood is very big, yes. But I feel like it's not very strong. What's strong about Flint is the combination of skills, right? Because you're able to finish off enemies from long distance. So this might fix it, but I can't tell if this is going to be enough. We're going to have to see some play testing to, to test that. Master of Arms. So Trail of Acid does not apply the armor reduction anymore. Okay, this is a very good change because the, the W for Master of Arms was, is so strong. Like you just pam it on the lane and then every enemy is weaker, right? By removing the armor re reduction, it basically says you only deal damage. You do not remove armor anymore. I do like this change a lot. Pearl, okay, so what's the change of Pearl? The health region is reduced. I don't see a lot of reduction, what? Okay, so on the first level, it is much lower, but on later levels, it's close to the same. I feel like this could be just like the Devo, right? Just half it and put it on a maximum of 1.1 because you're always going to be five. It is always going to be max, right? So, I don't know, I don't feel like this is enough. But we're gonna have to see as well because these changes are very hard to tell how good they are because mid wars is like if you are a little bit stronger it feels like you are much more stronger than the enemies so a small change can, can have a large effect that's what I mean Thunderbringer cooldown increase from the l chain lightning I'm not sure this is enough either it's okay so so far by looking at the changes of the heroes, I can tell that these changes are on the right direction, on the right One hero, of the is under attack. but they do not do much. I feel like, and another another hot take that I'm going to give is that I think, I feel like there should be more buffs. Instead of only nerfing these very powerful heroes, you should buff the very weak heroes as well. For example, why is Wild Soul never picked? Because it's very garbage on, on Midwars. So why are we to be buffing it in some way? But, however, these changes are very important. I'm, I cannot tell if, it, if they are going to be effective. I will have to try to see. But they are definitely on the right direction. I love the idea that the heroes are different in Midwars and in Forest of Cavalier. And I love the idea that they are trying to basically make all the heroes level by nerfing the, the heroes that are picked a, a lot. But I do, I do encourage them to, to buff some heroes. Okay, so Spyglass now plays a different random tile. Okay, I don't have the Spyglass anymore. Do, can I add the Spyglass? Let me see. Okay, so there's the Spyglass. Let's see what it does. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tell you another thing. I really wish that the it, had it played the taunt and they played the, the little, like, confetti things right it would be very good if it, if it did that so devs if you are hearing this please do it <laughs> i want to see it again actually okay i see 
Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. Come on, give it to them. Okay, so items. Homecoming stone automatically added to the inventory with unlimited tar. Oh, do I have a homecoming? Oh, I do. So is it unlimited? Okay, it is unlimited, and it's 60 seconds cooldown. Interesting. Okay, so cooldown reduces from 80 to 60 seconds. That's very good. Okay. Jade Spire. Item disabled and cannot be purchased on Mid Wars. There we go. Jade Spire. I hate this item on Mid Wars. And I love that it gets disabled. Because uh, heroes like Gauntlet got way too strong with the Jade Spire. Spell Sunder. Magic damage reduced from 4% to 2% per second in Mid Wars. Okay, so it's a nerf to Spell Sunder. I like this a lot as well. Guys. There are new avatars. Okay, so new Flux avatar, new Dampier avatar, new Rhapsody avatar, new Kinesis avatar. And guess what? We are going to try them. <laughs> Welcome back. I think I have the money. All our opposite Flux. Let's try them. Oh my god, this looks so Oh my god. It is a thousand gold. Guys, I'm going to buy this for you. <laughs> I'm going to waste my gold coins for you okay but i oh i get 25 percent off okay but this looks insanely cool this looks very cool i want to try it right now there we go my authority is divine oh look at that guys a new avatar i cannot believe i'm seeing this <laughs> i want to see it in action though let's see yes it looks very cool. Okay, it, it looks very cool. Let, let's give it that. It looks very cool. Let's see the use. Oh, okay, I see. So the sounds are basically the same from the Jupiter avatar. They only changed the skin. But it looks it looks very cool on the same. The pink the pink part? The blue part? This avatar is so beautiful. Look at that. It looks very cool. Okay, so let's try the other ones. Next avatar is Dampier, Shadow Fang Dampier. Let's see. Oh wow! They are so high definition. 2,000 gold? Guys, my gold coins! <laughs> I am losing all my gold coins. But I'm, I have to try them. I have to. I just have to. Okay, so... Look at this. A new Dampier avatar. <laughs> this looks so... This looks awesome. Like, awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's see. Looks interesting. The attack animation looks interesting. Let's see these spells. Okay. Okay. It looks okay. It looks okay. I, I cannot believe you are having <laughs> new avatars here. So let's get the maximum charges and see how it looks. Okay, so let's see. This is how it looks without max charges. Okay. As you wish. Looks very, very high definition. Let's put it that way. Wow. Look at that. It changes completely. It looks so cool. Dude, I think I'm going to be playing the beer just because of this. Let's see how it looks with the staff. Okay, so... This is how it looks with staff. They will not see me it coming. looks awesome, dude. I love it. I love the dip. Okay, so this is my favorite so far. The Flux one is great. It's very beautiful. I love the, the little shoulder things he has. But this dip here is just crazy good. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So let's see the others. New Rhapsody Avatar. Chord Codex Rhapsody. Also. What? 
it looks a lot different from, from what I thought. Like, this is what the <laughs> Death Metal one looks like, and this is the Card Codex. Okay, so at least it's like a lot cheaper. I can buy with silver, thank god. Okay, so let's see the new Rhapsody. Rhapsody. This one. Wow, I love I love the portrait by the way. Portrait looks, looks very cool. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to say it. In game, it looks a lot better than the <laughs> than the like the the 3D image that we have the, in the shop, right? So let's see this hero in action now. Let's see how the spells looks like. Okay, so it's. A, it looks, it looks awesome. I just, maybe it's just because I love seeing something new, but this looks very cool. Like oh my god, look at that. That looks insanely good. Let me see allies, how allies look. Let's see our test subject. Where are you? There we are. Our good old friend Armadan. It looks very cool. It looks like the Demented Shaman healing, right? Do you guys see it? It looks like he's getting healed by the Demented Shaman. It is awesome. Okay, so this is Sakara stun. Okay. Looks okay as well. How about the Uti? Whoa! How did they do this? Look at this! It looks incredible! How about if I stack both? Look at that! <laughs> I'm going to be playing Rhapsody as well. <laughs> Dude, these avatars are so good! They are so well made! It is crazy! Wow! Okay, wh what about this stuff? This right stuff. Okay, so you get a little, a little thingies, right? Is that it? So little yep. blood to spill. How does the Uti look like? Okay, there we go. I love the Uti, man. The Uti animation, so good, so good. I'm getting chills, man. <laughs> and the last one is Kinesia HD. Okay, so it should be just a. a Welcome back. An HD after, right? Oh, so this is the old one. Very ugly, right? This is the new one. So let's see how it looks like. They are doing Dude, the, these symbols are so cool as well. Such good design. These guys are basically. This is so much better <laughs> than the retail haul already. These avatars are so good. There we go. Why is it so big? What? <laughs> it is so big! Look at that, that portrait is so cool. Okay, so in-game it is not that big. That's better. In-game looks very good. So let's see the abilities. Let's put our test subject. Armadon, you are up again. Armadon, you're gonna help us, okay? So you stay right there. So let's see the abilities. I can't control it. Okay, so it looks pink. Okay. Well, I don't hear. I don't hear noises, do you? Okay, there is a small noise I can hear again. Maybe it's a little bit lower, but as maybe I'm just can. like thinking about things. The noise I'm talking about is that whenever your thoughts steal something, there's a little bit of a noise that tells you that. Something's thought series, thought story. So let's leave the trees. Looks pink. Okay. What about the Uti? It's a little darker pink, right? Compared to the other avatar. Okay. I like it. Like this. This is supposed to be only a reskin, right? But it, it already looks very cool. I think this is already my, my favorite Kinesis avatar. Hey, great minds, think alike. I do not understand why I get the blue thingies around me. Maybe it's on purpose? Do you, think, do you guys think it looks cooler blue than red? 
I can't tell really. Like it looks fine. But maybe maybe it was supposed to be pink. Yeah, the, 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 these ones are red, right? The shield. I feel like the shield is barely noticeable on the avatar, right? You do notice it, but it's hard to tell. Okay, never mind, you do notice it. Okay, so these are the avatars. <laughs> So let's give them a grade. I'm going to be doing this as well because maybe there are more avatars coming, right? So I'm going to give you guys grades on these avatars, okay? Okay, so the grades are the Polar Absolute Furx is basically just a reskin, but the, re the reskins look awesome. Like the, the shoulder things, I'm in love with that. One of your structures but I'm, is giving, under I'm gonna give it like a 7 out of 10 because I feel like that's the only difference. It looks very cool, but that's basically the only noticeable difference, right? The Shadow of Fang Dampier, it looks amazing, I love it, it is my opinion, but I love it. It is a 10 out of 10, by far, like, this is very great, very good, I'm going to be playing Dampier, just to be playing this avatar. The Rhapsody, the Rhapsody one was an ex unexpected one, because when you look at the, the, the avatar in the shop, it doesn't look very cool, but when you look at it in-game, it looks amazing, it looks amazing in-game. And the UT animation is just crazy good. I love it. I love the UT animation. The little hard things around it. It's just so good. Like, this avatar is very good. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Just because it's not as good as the... the I do not love it as much as I love the Dampier one. But it's quite close to, to, quite close to there. And the Kinesis avatar, I'm going to be giving a 6 out of, six out of 10. It's like... It's a reskin, it's not supposed to be great, it's just an HD form, it, I think it was imported from the China Han, but it's very good as well, it looks good, I hope you can buy it as a symbol, I really do, but it's basically that, right, it's, that's the only noticeable change, there are not changes to the sounds or the effects, just the hero, so that's why I give it a 6 out of 10, and that's it, these are the changes, <laughs> I'm going to give you guys this, this is a mid change, but the avatar change is insane, it's like, please give me more, more avatars. These are great. I love them. Thank you very much. So who are who was responsible One for them? Let's see. Maybe it was. There we go. It's Honor My God and Why So Serious. So you guys can see why Honor My God is not uploading a lot. But Honor My God has a lot of videos uploaded. So if you haven't seen the videos from him, please do. It's a way of supporting him for all this amazing work that he, he has done. Please give these guys the support that they need because this is very good. This is so good. I love these changes. I love these avatars. And I hope we get more of these in the future. So this is going to be it for now. Please let me know in the comments if you like this video, if you prefer the last one. I'm trying to do this, this one a little bit different, more towards what I feel like you guys want. But if you feel like I went for the wrong direction and you want something similar, more similar to what we had on the last video check out the last video as well it was the changes for the first of Cavadar so those are more important for whoever is playing first of course but if you like those that video a lot just let me know in the comments okay thank you very much for watching if you are still here this is going to be an extra video this is also going to be part of the uh, let's say appreciation that I have for the 100 subscribers I put a video out, uh, I think two days ago, about a very good game that I was playing support, and I hope you guys liked it. But this is part of it as well, right? I really appreciate the 100 subscribers. It is insane. It is so cool. I, I really, I'm really falling in love with this. I'm really falling in love with making content because it is very fulfilling to make. Because I go, I hop into a game, I record it. I like recording these videos. It actually makes me play better, it makes me play more serious, it makes me be nicer to my teammates when I'm recording, so I love doing this, I love making these videos, and I'm very thankful for you for making this possible, okay? So thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, still a video today, because this is extra, okay? Bye bye, and I'll see you again.